All right, everyone, I wanted to show you guys I, earlier before I had showed you the upgrading of the memory on the Toshiba Z935. It's a very nice unit, Ultrabook. So what I did, uh, I went ahead and um, I've already removed the screws, but I'm going to show you guys really quickly. Again, this is very, you remove all these screws here. Then the center one has got the um, Torx uh, screw there that's got actually the security. So you can have to pick up a T7 with it's got the security uh, what it is I don't know if it will focus it in here but it's got a little Torx and then it's got a little security there so it can go in this hole there. Originally I had installed the four gigabyte uh, RAM stick in here, so it is worked very perfectly. So it upgraded it to the total six gigabyte so at the time they didn't have the eight gigabyte stick so I went ahead and purchased the eight gigabytes just to test it out this is the Patriot uh, RAM as you can see is the 1600 uh, DDR3 so we're gonna go ahead and test this out and see if it's uh, able to recognize it on the other ultrabooks uh, using the same processor or yeah actually yeah same Ivy bridge core uh, it's able to recognize uh, more than six gigabytes. It might be something that Toshiba just, uh, again, it's, uh, Toshiba might just only me maxing them out at six gigabytes for some reason. But again, there's your uh, empty slot, very easy to upgrade. You can just uh, push these out and your old memory RAM will come out. This only goes one way here. As you can see, it's got a little notch there. So that notch goes in here. So just face it in there like, at an angle like this and then I'll push it down as you can see it's all the way in so you can double check and everything so this take this one out and um, and put the cover back in here and when you guys put the cover uh, put this side in first what I've done is uh, I kind of like push this side down like this kind of and lift it up kind of high like this from one side and that will allow this to just drop right in see it was very easy let's go ahead and boot this up I'm not gonna oops I won't put the screws in there until we know that it boots up quickly or actually if it works let me go ahead and um just go ahead and put this up higher so you guys can see this and I'll see so far it looks like it's booting up um, so it looks like it is going to catch that RAM. Let me undo my trackpad here. And as you can see, it's up and running in probably less than 15 seconds. Let's go to system. And let's see what we got there. Uh, there it is. It is showing 10 gigabytes of RAM. So it does recognize it. As you can see right there is using 10 gigabytes for the install ramp and 9.90 usable the other is uh, for the uh, I hope you call it for the video RAM as a sharing so it looks like it's works so if you guys want to pick up a 8 gigabyte stick you can add it onto your Toshiba Z 935 uh, I'll check into this. Maybe I can go ahead and put a 16 gigabyte in there, but um, 8 gigabytes more than enough. Uh, I'll have 8 plus 2, so 10 gigabytes is more than I'll need. I've been using this to do some uh, Power Director 10 video editing and also uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, and it's been working flawlessly. Um, also, compared to that, I've been also I have my MacBook Air. I've been, been able to render the video is much faster on this uh, Toshiba than I have on my Mac Air but again it's two different machines two different operating systems but overall I'm very happy with this again very portable as you can see very lightweight and you can see how thin this is so for those of you that are interested you know that you guys can pick up a 8 gigabyte, eight gigabyte stick and install it so thanks for watching